I have been a proud owner of a Steam Deck for a few weeks now. I got it during the summer sale and I've been playing it since then. I love this big chunk of metal love handles. For the price and performance, this thing is just a fucking beast on the go. And I really think that you should get one. But I'm not here today to review about it. I'm gonna discuss an issue that I barely hear anyone talk about when it comes to the Steam Deck. Proton packages. If you have a Steam Deck currently, you know exactly what I'm gonna say. Protons on a Steam Deck is basically a compatibility layer that allows Windows games to play on the software called Linux. Protons act more as a middleman to fix compatibility issues by emulating a Windows experience on the Steam Deck, automatically letting you have access to thousands upon thousands of games. While this sounds good on paper, which for the most part it is, it allows so many games to play flawlessly on this chunky bastard, there is one major flaw. The amount of space that it has to take up in order to properly make these games work. Let me explain. Each game that you download on the Steam Deck also downloads Proton files with that game. There is option to delete them, but they later just come back, so there's basically no point. Since I was on a budget, I went for the $400 model, which is 64 gigabytes. I knew exactly when I got this that there was going to be compromises when it came to the storage. I knew that the 64 model wasn't going to be 64 gigabytes. I knew that it was going to compress it down to 40 gigabytes, which I was right. And I knew that on the internal storage that I was going to at least have some room for saves. But I was not expecting this size. So the total amount of usable storage that I have on my Steam Deck is 46.5 gigabytes. Gigabytes. You want to know how much the Proton packages take up? 33 fucking gigabytes, and this number just keeps on going up every single game that you download. That is around 70% of space. Now, I have a 1TB microSD card, so the problem of space isn't really a problem for me. But where I do get concerned is when my Steam Deck decides to completely turn off because of the amount of space that the Proton packages take up. I literally have no games downloaded on my internal storage because of this issue. Now to the people that are getting the 64 gigabyte model, you may not have this issue as long as you download really small games, because the size of protons for those are really, really small. But if you're like me and you have an SD card, that's gonna become more and more of an issue. The bigger the games, the bigger the file sizes. Now, I know that this is probably not the case, but it sort of feels like Valve is pressuring us to get the last two models more than the introduction model which the 64 gigabyte model is always top seller in Steam, so I know that a lot of people have the 64 gigabyte model than they do the other models. I really love my Steam Deck. I love it to death. I play it every single day. But I don't want to keep on compromising space in order to fucking enjoy the thing. People mainly complain about the battery life, but I think that this is a bigger issue. And I think that Valve really needs to step up their game when it comes to compressing these files. Because Jesus Christ, these Proton packages are looking like a fucking Warzone update. Like if you want to, subscribe if you want to, even comment if you want to, I don't care. You do you. Have a good day. If the Steam Deck had an ass, I would fuck it.